Hello. Thanks for being here. I went back to the basement. I did. And I know there's more stuff down there. I just never know when I'm going to find it. But I did go thinking, well, let's go see what I can find in terms of disk drives. Ta-da! And I found another 1571. And a 1541 too. And indeed I did find a power supply which I'm thinking goes with it. Don't mind me, I'm just changing the background. And the main part of the screen to black, the, te the text to white. How do I do that? Poke 53280, comma 0, poke 53281, comma 1. No, comma zero, sorry. Both comma zero, and do it in black. So, I'm going to take the serial cable and the power cable and plug in to the 1571. And it works as it should. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Okay, so. Once again, at some point, I want you to test this on 128 with a 1571 performance test. But I don't have that handy, but someday I will. So I'm going to load in the performance test that it's really the universal thing. It'll work on a VIC, it'll work on most anything. But I sure don't want to do it with that disk in there. I should, of course, have the right to protect stickers on oh, some of these things that I don't want to overwrite. But, you know. So, 1571 performance test. We'll see what happens. As I've said before, I very much like the aesthetics of the 1571. I kind of wish the 1541 had always looked like it. I wish, but it didn't, so, you know. So here I have the power supply for 1541-2. And also, I think we'll show the 1571-2. I think. Yeah, on my spectacles. And it says model DB5128-1, 117 input, output 70, 5 volts, 12 volts. Oh, maybe on the top. Yes, it is for the 15, oh, it's for the 1541-2, the 1571-2, and the 1581-2. Two. As in also, not two. So, well, I am... See, while this is running its testing, perhaps I will take this and plug it in to this drive and turn it on. That too is encouraging. What should happen when you turn on most any drive is the power light and the activity light should come on momentarily, the drive should spin, and then it should sit there very happy to await your command. Okay, so, 1571 is puttering along. I should get my documentation paper. I do not want to do this again. 1571. March 2021. So far, it seems okay. Um, Fifteen forty one two March twenty twenty one.
So I'm thinking that this unit has passed the performance test. How magical is that? Work. I should, of course, try it. As I said, on another setup. Haha. -ha. Like them fifteen seventy bucks. Okay. So, that went well. Um, yeah. So now, I just need to turn this off. Turn this off. Carefully pull the serial cable out. Take the blank disc, which is a scratch disc, which is a disc that can be formatted over and over and over and over and over, which could be any disc. Just make sure it's not a disc that has good things on it. Do run. And I will press return. Sounded good. So, off it goes. Into the wilderness, you see. But so far, these are looking good. I can add them to the pile. And for those of you that used to watch my early videos, you know there's a pile. A big pile. There is. There is indeed. I'm tempted, assuming this all works, that I might check out this disc. So I did not mean to say check out. Check out this disc just to see. It's always interesting, you know, to see that the performance test works. It's always nice to load up something. <coughs> something else. Let's see. What is what? It is. Like, oh, a music disc. You know what I think I did? The music disc I had, I think I left in one of the drives. I will have to rescue it. I shall. Not that I want to play more music, of course, but it's always exciting. How's this doing? Okay, things are lit. I'm not sure that I'm hearing the clicking that I should hear. In fact, I don't really hear any clicking. The a disc is very much like a cassette tape. It's magnetic. On a cassette drive, of course, you just have one track. Maybe two. Yeah, probably two. But anyway, it reads one at a time. This drive has a stepper motor. It moves the head back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. As if it was a, like, you know, a long thing, but it is random access. But this one, when it formats the disk, usually you hear the thing stepping, stepper motor, stepping, stepping, in little increments. And I'm not hearing that. So I wonder, what is up? Still spinning. File opener. Oh, of course it is. File opener. Alright, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to try. Drive activity light is flashing tremendously. Five last round. Okay, well, this disc is not exactly the most reliable because it's, you know, who knows what's on it if it's in the midst 
of being formatted. Okay, well that is more likely to be trouble. So we see the drive light flashing. For a moment, it said it was loading the directory. I suspect it did a little bit. I suspect, oh yeah, there's a little bit of methane there. things about these machines is I can I can move up here move the cursor over whoa oh. well as I was saying one of the cool things is I can just move over put in 10 and make that align in a program, but when I did it, strange things have happened. Everything has kind of shifted over, and the cursor has gone away. I cannot, you know, I've been messing with these machines since, like, literally almost the day they came out. I've never exactly seen that. Never. So, I'm going to turn this off for a moment, and I'm going to think. Really, what I'm doing is giving it a chance to be really off, dead, over, finish, turn it back on. Maybe something has happened with the 64. The 64 comes up. So, I'm going to put in the same thing I would have put in in a program. 15, comma, 8, comma, 15, comma, quote, I, zero, quote, colon, close, 15. And then I'm going to list it, and it's there. So, I'm going to say 5. Because, well, I should have done this, probably, do. I'm going to do, in 15, I'm going to do i equals i plus 1. And then in 17, I'm going to say print home, oops, sorry, print, which is a question, you can do it with a question mark, whatever, quote, clear home, quote, semicolon, does semicolon. And then, of course, in line 5, now that I've done that, I'm going to clear the screen. And I'm going to list that. So what this should do is to clear the screen, try and force the disk to reinitialize, which is not the same as format. It's just trying to force it to do its thing. Maybe it's just a little tired. And um, then it's going to keep track of how many times it does it. And, you know, and just because I can, I'm going to say poke. Five, three, two, eight, zero, comma, zero, colon, poke, five, three, two, eight, one, comma, zero, quote, not quote, colon, print, quote, oops, quote, I'm going to change the cursor to white. So what this should magically do is turn the screen black, make the characters white, Clear the screen, start trying to torture this disk drive, and keep track of how many times it does it. The screen is blank. Um, we'll 
Here is a stunning revelation. Hmm. What does this mean? I just don't know. So, this one does seem to be having trouble. It has now tried to do this 18 times. I think I may change that. I'm going to take this test demo disc out, which I'm sure is good. But I don't want to hurt it. I'm going to put this disc in, which I know is blank. And I'm going to try in 18. I'm going to, and this is something you need to be careful, very careful. I'm going to open 15, comma, 8, comma, 15, comma, quote, in, 0, colon, 15, 41, comma, and I say 42, quote, colon, close. 15. The N0 means new. That means it's going to try and format this disk. Remember, try and do stuff like this. Whatever's on that disk is going to be gone. Now, do I think it's really going to work? No, I don't. I really don't. But, so what it's going to do is the same as it did before. It's going to try and initialize the disk. Then it's going to try and format the disk. Then it's going to go back to 10 and keep on counting. And is this going to make any difference? Is this going to make this drive work? No, it will not. I will try. So now it's trying to initialize. And now it should be trying to format. But what's funny, I don't hear the clicking. Which I know, I think, was happening when it was trying to bang the heads, but it may not have been, it may, I don't know, maybe it would have had to be, but I do hear, well, it's spinning, it's spinning, so a lot of old Commodore equipment that might be found here and there, um, may have in fact at some point belonged to a school board. This one seems to have been a cast off of the Durham Board of Education. A lot of smart schools had Commodore computers way back when. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. It did it again. Now, but did it do it? That is the question. I suppose. I suppose I should have put something in there. See, you can't do the directory on a 64 just with a directory like catalog or directory. So did it work with the format? I don't know. I really don't know. This one looks like it's taken a bit of a hit in that the front is not fitting just so. So it is trying to run again. Now before, with the performance test, it didn't seem to make it through this. Now, do I know that this is working? No. Do I know that it's not working? No. Do I know what's really going on? No. What I think I might do is just put my finger on the run stop key, which really means stop, so that when this thing finishes its supposed doing of the disk and the formatting of the disk, that it will, at when it closes 15, or when it gets to that point, it will in fact break. And I was hoping I would see that the flash
flashing light would be flashing, but I don't. So I'm going to try and do something daring. Perhaps foolish. I'm going to try... Oh. Am I? Yeah, I'm going to try and load the directory. Okay, no, it says it's there. Okay, it says it's there. Now that means test disk. Aha! But you see, I didn't name it test disk. I named it 1541,42. So it did not format, but it did read the directory. Interesting. Now, of course, the program that I had in the machine is now gone. All that hard work is gone. But, you see, because I've left it on the screen, I can put it right back in. So there's the program. So what I want to do right now is I want to not have it do this line. So I will change this line to a remark statement, which is kind of like documentation. So it's going to try and look it up. Okay, so now it is reading, sorry, it is initializing. seems quite fine about it. Now, but it didn't format. Even though it seemed to format, it didn't change the name on the disk. <sighs> okay, so the little program I just wrote is going to be wasted. Because it's not going to be there. I think. I'm going to load, or try to load, the performance test from the test demo disk. I'm going to massage it a little bit here. And it did not. So, is my program still there? It is. Okay. So here is the test demo disk. I'm not going to format it. I'm just going to see if it will initialize it. As in, just it forces the heads to do its thing and go to the directory and do magical things. Which it would do quite nicely on this disk. But on this one, it is not doing it. So I'm going to take that disk out. And just for fun, even though it will make no difference at all, Put another disk in. And it's thinking. But it's not doing. So, I'm going to hold down the run stop key. It's going to break. I still have the program here. Would not read, would not format, and performance test, yeah. I'm going to write another critical word here. Strange. Format. And I will also put another thing here that may be helpful or not. Theme. Head. Maybe. Maybe the head needs cleaning. I don't know. Okay, so we have no discs in there. Okay, we have the 1541 test demo disc. Wait, oh, oh. This is the program I thought we might try. We'll put it there. <sighs> so, of course, when writing... I'm turning this off, of course. Now, when writing programs, it's best to try and leave space between line numbers. Just in case. What is this? Uh, 1987. Da, 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 da. I see ROM. IC ROM 251 as contained herein. I don't know 
what that means. Make sure it's done. Okay. So. I. I'm going. Ah, there's the tape. I'm going to tape this documentation to the drive. thing is giving me grief and ruining tape. How tragic. Okay, so now the power supply here, which I will leave with it, seems to be okay. But of course, I suppose it is possible that if something was wrong inside of it, that maybe it would not let the drive work. I just don't know. I don't know. But, well, yeah, I mean, if a voltage was really off, that certainly wouldn't help any. So, we'll see at some point what is what. We shall. Anyway, returning to our program here, and I know you can't see it very well, but basically all I did is I asked the drive to initialize using the I0 command, I for initialize, 0 for drive 0. And I did try to format with the end command, which is new, and zero. Once again, the new command will wipe out a disk. Wipe it. Clean, clean, clean. Assuming the drive is work or disk drive is working. And it will be gone. Gone, 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 gone. So be very careful. But besides that, I changed the screen color, I changed the border color, I changed the cursor color, I cleared the screen. Then I asked it to do the initialization. Then I said I equals I plus one. Why? So I can keep track. Now I suppose what I should have done as a good programmer, even though every time you run the program it assumes that the, the value of i is or any variable is zero, I should have put at the beginning i equals zero. Or I could set it to anything I want. And then, so it would be nice and neat when printing, I told it to print, but not clear the screen, but put the, put the cursor in the top corner so it would just count. 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 And when it was all done, I told you to go back to 10 and do it again and again and again and again and again. And what happened in the end? The drive is still not functioning. Oh well. Alright, so, um, oh yes, right, I need to unplug this. Oh. Never, never ever pull on the cord. <laughs> there for a second because found out. right now I have what is this? Oh, it's a 41. An extra 1571. Works. Okay. Life is good. I love the 1571. It's a beautiful drive. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. So we'll tape that on. And in a moment. It could also use a little magic eraser. So I will add this to the pile. <coughs> I shall. And maybe I'll go back to the basement. See what else I can find. I know. You know what? I found other things. I found power supplies and joysticks and all kinds of things. Yeah. I got a lot of testing to do. Anyway, um, thanks for coming, and once again, I will soon be selling. I'm open to offers. And, I mean, I often do things on eBay, but I don't have to. And some of these things, because of course I told you, I've got a monitor going to the Northwest Territories. This causes me great grief. Because that's a long way. And I don't know. You know, I mean, I'm going to wrap it up as best I can, and I just hope and pray that it makes it there okay. I will do my best. And then some. So. Until we meet again. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And stay tuned.
Thank you very much.